Tobias Shaganjwa narrated how the elephants visited his homestead, though this time around with minimum damage to his properties. Shaganjwa had to scare them away while waiting for the arrival of nature conservation officials. Let's keep in touch and warn each other as usual. It's only that this time, unfortunately, we did not have time to do that as they usually show up in June and not September. The other concern is we need to be compensated. The Ministry of Environment should not only focus on crops damaged, but also include fences too in their compensation packages. It's costly to reconstruct the fence and it can happen even more than six times yearly. He said the last time he was compensated $3,000 for damage caused by elephants was three years ago. Sharanjwa lived in the area for the past 14 years and had many encounters with the elephants. Saki Jonisiu indicated that they are however following instructions given on how to handle elephants to avoid tragedies at their cattle posts. We are told to be careful with the elephants and set fire to scare them off because these elephants might even kill us one day. They frequent the area and one day they came while we were bathing at the borehole. The community of Makange have been experiencing elephant conflicts and in some circumstances they destroy water infrastructure and left some with no harvesting from their Mahangu fields.